Hi guys, this is Shivariti. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain synchronization in the collections. So, by default, if you see any uh, implementation like list, or set, or map, those are by default not the synchronized, except uh, in the case of uh, list implementation vector and in the case of um, map, it is a hash table. So, these are, these are the two um, collection implementations which provides by default synchronization concept that is thread safe other than these two uh, remaining collection elements are not uh, synchronized by default the reason uh, behind it is when you apply this uh, synchronization mechanism for any collection the performance of the uh, application will go down because the in the multi-threaded environment only one uh, thread at a time it can access that uh, objects hence uh, collection uh, by default it does not provide um, synchronization uh, concept for the collections but java provide another flexibility to make our collection uh, objects to become is uh, um, uh, thread safe so i am going in this session i will explain a uh, few uh, concepts how you can make uh, our uh, collection implement uh, collection uh, implementations uh, become uh, synchronization to become uh, thread safe so let us go ahead and i'm uh, explain with an example so i am giving this one as um, synchronization example okay. so i would like to have main method so java provides a one uh, class called collections in this collections we have a few uh, static methods by using this it is for uh, the you can make collection objects as a sy uh, synchronize, uh, synchronize that means become uh, those uh, once you uh, mark these collections as a synchronize then uh, those uh, collection objects becomes uh, thread safe so in the collections class collections dot if you see synchronized we have a synchronized collection synchronized list synchronized map and uh, uh, synchronized set and synchronized sorted set and synchronized sorted map so these are the few um, static methods are available in the collections dot class so by using these cla uh, these methods you can uh, you can um, make uh, our uh, collection uh, 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 classes um, become synchronized so i am going to explain uh, with array list by default array list is not the synchronized but vector is synchronized so that means it is thread safe so now i want to make my array list class as uh, synchronized so i am going to create a array list um array list equal to new array list array list okay so once i created this one using i am going to add strings to this array list i am going to give as a string okay so now i am going to add few objects to it so array list dot add value one like that i am going to add few more values to this um, array list value two value three and value four so by default this array list is not synchronized so in order to mark this array list as a synchronized we need to use the collections dot synchronized list here it is going to take the array list object okay now now this object becomes synchronized okay so now whatever the array list we added to this one right now this is going to be synchronized and it is become thread safe so what it means is 
uh, when multiple threads access trying to access this uh, array list it will restrict uh, only one uh, thread at a time it can access the array list now i can uh, use the um, for each loop and uh, i am going to iterate using the um, uh, for each loop array list i am trying to pin this value okay well uh, this is pretty much uh, straightforward to ma uh, to uh, make any array list as a synchronized so this is how we are going to uh, implement in the similar way we can uh, we can uh, see for uh, linked list also it is same as actually linked list okay so linked list is also same way linked list okay so there is no difference so similarly you can apply for um, uh, hash set also so instead of this i am giving hash set okay and uh, here also i am giving as a hash set okay so i need to import this one from java.util package and now I am giving uh, anyhow just I am uh, giving as a array set and uh, okay, I am going to update this references to array set and now I am going to pass this to now I am creating a hash set right so that is the reason we need to update this um, uh, 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 synchronized uh, implementation to synchronized has set or synchronized um, set okay here it is going to take the array set and now this becomes uh, synchronized has set okay now when I run this program the output is going to be same but the difference is uh, the difference is now this array set becomes synchronized so once you mark this collection as a synchronized then it will allow only one thread at a time it can access this process and uh, similarly has set and then uh, we can see linked has set also linked has set and, uh, here also i can mark as a set instead of uh, marking that one right i can directly mark as a set I need to import from the java.util package in the linked has set is also from uh, java.util package now when I run this program this linked, uh, linked has set now become thread safe okay so the one of the uh, disadvantage of uh, synchronized uh, synchronized uh, um, uh, implementation or the synchronized uh, set or synchronized list is it will it will uh, degrade the performance by as it will allow only one thread at a time it can access this um, in, uh, this synchronized um, collection okay and similarly you can apply for the tree set also again i need to import from java.util okay so this is uh, the um, uh, synchronized uh, implementation of has set and uh, actually it is a uh, set implementations and in the similarly you can apply for um, has uh, 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 map implementations also how I can do that is map uh, implementation using string uh, I am going to implement map using the uh, key and value integer and uh, then it is a string now it becomes a map equal to new hash map of hash map because by default hash map is not uh, sync, uh, thread safe that means not sync, uh, synchronized so I need to uh, mark this one using uh, collection dot uh, synchronized map so before I do that I am going to add a few uh, object to this um, map okay sorry it is a string class and now I need to import this map from the 
Java dot util package, and then I'm going to add few ab object to the um, map map dot put of um, one not one. I am giving uh, value as a Shiva and um, map dot put one not two comma. I'm just uh, giving randomly few values. I created a two values. Now, if I want to mark this map as a synchronized, then I need to use the collections dot um, synchronized map. Okay, synchronized map. So here it is going to take the map. Now this uh, map becomes uh, synchronized, and uh, once this becomes synchronized, so you can uh, only one thread it can access. So iteration is going to be very simple as in I explained in the previous tutorials. So um, if you want I can uh, uh, write once again that logic that is we need to prepare a map dot entry uh, for this to iterate this uh, map that is uh, in the uh, yeah it is in the integer and uh, value is string and I am giving this one as a uh, entries equal to map dot entry set once you got the map using the for each loop you can iterate entry dot integer and uh, string here the value I am giving as a value and uh, now I need to point out this to the entries okay now I am going to print system dot out dot value dot get key and uh, uh, system dot out dot value dot get value okay so this is how you uh, we can uh, uh, apply the synchronization uh, synchronization to uh, synchronization to the collection objects and here I will give you as a value and here I can give as a key okay now let us run this program and see the output mm, output you will see as um, when you see the output key is 101 value is Shiva and key is 102 value is ready so there is no difference you can find in the output but only uh, the change we can see at the how uh, Java uh, JVM treats this uh, implementation when you apply the synchronized uh, concept to the collections it will restrict the uh, uh, multiple uh, it will restrict uh, uh, multi uh, it will restrict uh, only one thread at a time it can access the uh, collection object so but remember that if you apply the synchronized uh, concept to the collections it will degrade the performance as only one thread at a time it can access the resources so hope uh, this uh, synchronized uh, um, concept is clear in the collections if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching